I'm Sylvia Earle. I'm a marine scientist, explorer in residence at the National Geographic, and here on an expedition with Lindblad National Geographic. I first came to the Galapagos as a scientist in 1966. Seems like a different world. In fact, it is a different world. We've learned more since the middle of the 20th century when I began exploring the ocean as a young scientist. But at the same time, I think it's fair to say we've lost more. Here in the Galapagos Islands, it's a miracle that so much is still the way it likely was a thousand years ago before humans arrived. And every time I come, I see things that add to the experience as a witness to change. And it's an encouraging message that I have to give about what has happened here because it's evidence that people care and have taken action to actually protect 97% of the land. Such a nice face. This is a work in progress. We're seeing now an awareness that if you don't take care of the ocean, the land is in trouble. And this is true not just here in the Galapagos Islands. It's true globally. The ocean is the cornerstone of our life support system. We originally came on this trip because Sylvia was going to be here and we wanted to travel and explore the Galapagos Islands with her. So studying marine biology, we kind of grow up with the idols that started it all, the pioneers that really led way for specifically women in science today. So to be able to travel with Sylvia Earle, who is pretty much the main pioneer for um, women marine biologists, women in science, truly unique and a life-changing experience. So I can now say that I've had dinner, I snorkeled, I went on a Zodiac tour with Sylvia Earle. So truly incredible. Ruby flippers, you click them together, you wind up in Kansas. This is really a turning point critical time in the history of humankind because never before could we know what the children of today now have available to them and cause for hope that around the world both on the land and in the sea respect for nature is increasing by seeing the Galapagos Islands it's almost like an enchantment of people seeing the world with new eyes as an example of how we can address our behavior on a more global scale, to give back to nature that has given us everything. It's working here in the Galapagos with this as a symbol of hope. It can work on a much grander scale. That's the best possible recipe for a long and enduring future for humankind. <laughs>